Michael. Thank you so much. Excited for that sunshine to peek out a little bit there. In today's Crime Stoppers Spotlight, we're talking about one man that the Crime Stoppers and Knoxville Police need your help finding. We have Stacy Payne, of course, in here once again joining us. Stacy, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. Now, this just happened. You guys shared about it on your Facebook page yesterday. It was an incident that happened Halloween morning, actually. So we're talking about Brian Jamal Underwood. What do we know about him at this point? Well, he violently, violently attacked his partner. And in doing so, this is why he's now had wanted for attempted first degree murder and amongst many other charges. We're just asking the citizens, boy, if you know where he is, please, please do not contact him, do not go approaching him. But contact Crime Stoppers. Let us know where he is, and we will immediately have police go and, and arrest him. Yeah, and this is a photo that you guys see on your screen here. Take a look at that. This is who, again, Knoxville Police, the East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers are looking for. Uh, you know, we spoke with Knoxville Police as well over the numerous charges, again, including attempted first degree murder and especially aggravated kidnapping. So, really important that they're trying to find this man here. Uh, Stacy, you had mentioned that this picture was actually from the KPD, was it the Special Crimes Unit, I think it was? It, it was our, our Crime Analysis Unit. Crime Analysis unit. Yes. unit. So really important that we keep an eye out for this man. Now, what is the advice for people, of course, if you think you see this person? Well, if you think you see him, you know, you need to call Crime Stoppers immediately. It's the only way we're going to be able to pay you a reward is if you give us the information. But tell us, when did you last see him? Where did you see him? What was he wearing? Was he in a car? Give us as many details as you can so when we pass that along to police, they know exactly what they're looking for. So it's that kind of combo effort of trying to take notes of all the details but staying a safe distance away as well. Definitely. Do not. Do not approach him. You know, we don't want you to approach any of the folks that we highlight. Because right. you just never know when somebody may decide to react negatively. Exactly. So again, if you think you see him, I mean, call it into the East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers and not just phone calls. There's a couple different ways they can submit that tip. Certainly. You know, you can use the mobile app. It's really simple. Yeah. You can also go to our website. You can go to our Facebook page. We really make it simple for people to make you know, a <laughs> tip and just give us the information. And if your tip leads to an arrest, we'll give you some cash. I mean, who doesn't love some cash, especially when you're helping out your community? Check out your screen right now. The different ways to contact the Crime Stoppers are on there. Again, that phone number, we say it all the time, 865-215-7165. Or you can call Star Star Tips, the app, then their website, and the Submit a Tip button on their Facebook page. So easy. easy. Stacy, thank you so much for being in here. Thank you. Of course. And we've shared all these details online at WATE.com. Make sure you stick with us. After the break, we're going to get a final check on your November first forecast.